Let's continue my fun-filled Pokemon Let's Go Eevee playthrough. Last time we made it to Mount Moon, and this time we're heading to Cerulean City. Let's do this. All right, let's go and fight this trainer first. Hello, sir? It's a me, Wally. You surprised me. Oh, you're just a kid. And you're just a big old, big old bear of a man, aren't you? Big old Mancer Man. Challenged by Hiker Marcos. He looks pretty chipper. Nice boots. I actually kind of like all of his clothing. If I have to be honest here. Geodude, now we're finally facing off against trainers that are using the Pokemon in this cave. But we're definitely going to have to switch this. Switch it up to... Oh, I wish our Magikarp was evolved already and knowing water moves. But we're going to go to Nidoran. Maybe use a couple of kick skis, drop kick this Geodude to do the dude in the face. And hopefully come out on the other side alive. We just got tackled. That was a decent amount of health. But the double kick fighting to rock right, we do more damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, we don't have to worry so much. I think we're going to do this. <laughs> we have Geodude worrying. He's already defense curling. So he doesn't want to He doesn't want to lose to our next set of kicks. But hey, you can't have everything you want, Geodude. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. It, it survived. The defense curl did it some justice. And now my accuracy is going down. I just saw this camper actually has another Pokemon waiting in the wings after we take down Geodude crap. Okay, so Geodude is having a good, has a good strategy right here. Lower my accuracy, increase its defense, and stay alive. But you can't stay alive forever, Geodude. Immortality is not for you. Who do you have waiting for us? Who's your next one? Oh, another Geodude? Should we? No. I think our Nidoran is our best bet. If we can, if we can kick it, you know, kick it a few times before, come on. Yes. We'll do half of its health right here, right? Like just about. Oh, heck yeah. If I had time, you know, I would do, it did, did rock throw and we evaded it. Awesome. I would do focus energy, but I don't think we have time for that. We just have to go for the kill here. Hopefully that our accuracy isn't too far down and success. It's camper again. You have nice style, but your Pokemon. It was not their day today. Maybe get other Pokemon other than Geodude. Charmander! Level 11. Marcos, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being so chipper about all this. What do you say? Kids like you shouldn't be wandering around here in the dark. But big dudes like you shouldn't just be chilling here in the dark either. I mean, your, your Pokemon are not going to be growing up, going up levels if you just chill here. I'm going to use another potion on my Nidoran. And you know what? Maybe we'll, we'll put Nidoran in in first place now just because I think we're going to start <laughs> fighting a lot of trainers that have the Pokemon that are in the, these caves. Come on, Nidoran. There you go. Switch a Rune. Switch a Rune. And now we go for you, quiet old man in the corner. I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Oh, can you... Can you give me him? He ain't give me nothing. He ain't give me nothing. Well, well, no, we are going to go down here. There are two other ladders that we have skipped. We'll go back if we have to. Maybe we'll end up going up those ladders as we traverse this floor. Oh, it's the dastardly Team Rocket. Meowth. Dastardly Meowth. 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 Oh, Meowth is just running away because you're a scaredy cat. Quite literally a cat. You are a scaredy cat. Can I drink some water? I'm kind of thirsty. Fidgy, drink water. Fidgy, drink water now. Uh, be thirsty attack. I guess this is the way to find Team Rocket, but I kind of wanted to go up. Zubat, I'm about to call you Mewtwo. Zubat, you can't have any. I wanted to find everything down in these. Oh my gosh, a Chansey. You know this big boy is going to be giving us some big experience points. Dude, I love to see you too. It's huge. And not only that, it's a giant Chansey. We are going to feed you, buddy, because we need to catch you. And not only that, I need the experience points. <laughs> now, I think we're probably going to have to actually use a Great Ball on this one, don't you think? It's a big boy, and uh, it's kind of a rare Pokies. So, oh, that was excellent. I swear that was excellent. Come on, please capture. I don't have a lot of Great Balls. Come on, Chansey. Come on, Chansey. Come on, Chansey. Come on, Chansey. Okay, I'll use one more on you. That was excellent. In the record books, go down. Go down for the count. <laughs> oh, with bated breath, I stand. I sit with bated breath. I'm going to go back to my Pokeballs. I have like almost 100, so I might as well just toss it out to the... <laughs> I'm just going to toss it to nowhere. 
And toss you. No, I'm tossing. I'm tossing it at you. Toss this way. Oh my gosh. This is gonna. This is. Why is this so hard? Jeez, what am I doing? I'm not being patient anymore. I'm being impatient and it's. It's. I'm ruining the day. Please. I've tossed like seven Pokeballs at you. Just go in, please. Come on, dude. I know you're a big boy, but you can fit in here. I promise you can fit inside the Pokeball. I'm a. I'm a good guy. I'll feed you. I'll, hey, I'll give you water. Yours! It likes water and food! All you have to do is tell them they're not going to be dehydrated or hungry. 500 and freaking... freaking I, I can't talk. 551 experience points. That is insane in the membrane. Jeez. We just went up two levels for, I think, Charmander and Magikarp. I can't even tell. I just love all these level up rainbows on the screen right now. Go ahead, Nidoran. Go ahead. You go up level 14, level 15. What does is, what is Helping Hand do? I'm so excited about the leveling up. Now it's time to get into the nitty-gritty of the moves. Okay, user assist an ally by boosting the power of the ally's attack. I don't really care for that. So, no, I do not want to learn it. No, 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 no. Keep old moves. Thank you for asking, though. Evil Uno, level 15, wants to learn, learn wing attack. That is going to be a heavy hitter flying type. Definitely, right? 60 power. 100 accuracy. What does Gust do? 40 power. Okay, let's forget Gust. Wing attack is defil definitely a level up, a step up from what we had with Gust. But Gust, you put in a lot of work. Okay, Gust, you're a good attack, but we need to grow. We got to grow stronger. Evans is going up levels. Pikachu is going up levels. Pikachu is going up two levels. Double team. That's cool. That's going to increase our increase our evasiveness. Our evasiveness, as I should say with clarity. Yep. Yep. Um, man, I kind of want that, you know? That could come in handy. We have Double Kick and Thunder Shock. I like usually keeping something like a like a normal attack move, just in case I need it. Let's get rid of Quick Attack. Let's let's be brave. Pikachu is going to be our Feet and Shock Master, just in case we need a Fighting move and an Electric move. We'll go for Pikachu. But Charmander, what are you, you went at two levels. You got to learn a move by now, boy. Oh, heck yeah, he's learned a Fire Attack. A Magikarp going up two levels as well. This Chansey is, uh, it was a chance encounter, but it gave us a lot of experience points, and now it's giving us a Pokedex entry. A gentle and kind-hearted Pokemon that shares its nutritious eggs if it sees an injured Pokemon. That's why Nurse Joy has it. I'm so happy. No Zubats. I am just going to just, just gently walk around you. Oh, it's Team Rocket. Maybe we should go back and check out the rest of the different avenues inside of this cave but for now let's continue beating up team rocket goons what up team rocket goon we're pulling a big job here get lost kid it's team rocket grunt Ooh, drowsy gonna try to put me to sleep but i'm staying awake that's all i'm saying i don't i don't need a nap right now jigglypuff tried that earlier on in our adventure we, we don't have time for that can we double kick you does that do damage or it's not effective not very effective, that's okay. It's gonna confuse me. It's gonna do a lot of damage, isn't it? The poison's weakening and psychic, isn't it? I, I totally forgot about that. Well, I'm going to be... I'm gonna horn attack you. How about that? That, has, that should do a lot of damage. Oh, freak, yeah! <laughs> Almost all your entire health, buddy! Hey, I'll go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to you every day. I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you every day, Drowsy. I don't mind seeing who comes out on top here. Go to sleep. GTS, my friend. GTS. We knocked down this Team Rocket grunt, taking his money, money, making him look, oh, wow. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? If you find a fossil, give it to me and scram. Do you think I would seriously do that after you tried to destroy me? Annihilate me? Jeez, he has another thing coming. He's not that smart. I don't, you don't beat someone down and be like, yo, pretend like, I'm going to pretend like I won. Give me everything. We're running out of potions here. I don't really know how much money I have, but I should have enough to get a lot of potions when we go back to the Pokemart. Oh, oh good. I found one. We replaced the one we just used. Sweet. Too many Zubats. Jesse, James, Meowth. I see you. Aren't those dark colored things fossils? All right, Meowth, go get those fossils. Meowth's like, no, I don't really want to go down there. I don't care about you guys. Let me get out of here. Can I get out of here? Is this just the way? Is this the way? Huh. Interesting. 
Let's go back to Jesse James and Meowth and fight them because this is the path that I bet we eventually have to go to. There you go. There you go, Team Rocket mains. What's up? Quit goofing around and go already. Oh, is that it? You can do it, Meowth. Oh, they actually don't even care about us. They 100% don't even care. So we came all the way back here for nothing. And the Zubat's trying to attack us. Geodude's trying to attack us. So we're going to fight that other Team Rocket grunt up here. If, if Jesse and James don't want any of us. They're, they're scared, okay? Hello, grunt number two. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. Whatever. Whatever. You grown-ups suck. Team Rocket grunt. She looks kind of mad at us. She does not look happy. Setting out a Zubat. I think we're going to take you down, Zubat. Bat, bat, bat. Nidoran. Maybe we'll just Horn attack it. I mean, that really works. That's a pretty strong attack. Let's check it out. I just want to see what the info is. Nidoran, use Horn attack. Ah, I couldn't check the info. I'm moving too fast, y'all. Oh, no. Don't make us confused. Are we confused? We might hit ourselves. Come on, Nidoran. Oh, little duckies. Little duckies are so cute. Let's do Y. Yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of damage here. So let's just hit you. Don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. Come on. Yes! Confusion, you have always have a chance to smack yourself in the face, but we smack Zubat down. I'm happy with how this battle came out. Beat this grunt just like we beat the last one. Maybe a bit faster. She's just so mad at us. What do you have to say now? It seems that Pokemon lived here long before people ever came. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. The Pokemon were here, and then we came into the world. This is another nerd. Yo, nerd! I found these fossils. They're both mine. <laughs> that's literally it. He was like, dude, these are mine. Uh, what is it called? First time keepers? I don't know. Hello, hello, Miguel. Finders keepers, not first time keepers. I don't even know sayings. A Voltorb. Heck yeah, I love seeing this sentient Pokeball with the cool, mean looking eyes. I might want to double kick, but I want a horn attack. But again, hey, might as well go for the the kill here. You're not doing much. Uh, thunder shocking me. I got a horn doing like almost like 75% of your health, yo. Let's continue it up. Well, he's following up with the same attack too, so we both have the same idea. Just repeat attacks until one of us goes down. And I am the victor. Good to see you, Voltorb. If I didn't have a Pikachu, I would definitely catch you later on. Magnemite? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll stick with it. Definitely. Magnemite is steel type electric. The fighting, my kicks might do some work here. Let's see if they do. Yep, I hear that super effective hit. This is like, oh geez, we almost killed him in just with one attack. And we dodged the supersonic, so we don't even have to worry about Confuse hitting ourselves. This is so neat. Oh, I feel bad about Miguel. His face, he looks so sad. We're bullying him. He just loves his, his comics and his manga, you can tell. I mean, they call him a nerd. But hey, I have love for nerds. We all have nerd energy here. Fine, we'll each take a fossil. It's not good. It's no good being greedy, right? No, it's not. Thank you, Miguel. I told you you're awesome, dude. I want... Oh, which one? Get, a get away. Get away, Geodude. I want this one. The dome fossil. Thank you for the fossils. All right, then the other fossil is mine. Go ahead. I think I'm going to attack this Clefairy. It's probably a tiny one. Yeah, it is. I just want some experience points, honestly. I'm just going to throw Pokeballs at it to uh, capture it. I don't know why I'm explaining how Pokeballs work. You already know how this works. <laughs> I just want my experience points. Got like 127 experience points. Awesome. Uh-oh, it's getting harder to go up levels. I have a lot of thoughts right now. We got the Clefairy. We got the experience points. We got the Fossil. I'm pretty sure we have more to do here. And what's going on? Stop right there. <gasps> Team Rocket! Hands off. The Fossil belongs to us. How did you even get here ahead of us? Because you guys were just chilling, doing nothing. I mean, I actually backtracked to try to say, hey, come on, guys, let's fight, but whatever. Jesse, we're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. And I'm James. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. Oh, yes, now we can save the rest of it. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evil of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. It is Team Rocket, Jesse, and James. Oh, we're having double battles. That's how it is. No one even prepared me for this. But that's okay. I'll do it anyway. Let's do it to it. I am going to just horn attack the crap out of Coughing. Screw you, Coughing. You're going to go down. And with Evil Uno, we're going to use our n really awesome wing attack. Uh, let's just do it for Coughing, too. Let's go all for Coughing. We want to take out one of them so we don't have to worry about both of their attacks. Ah, uh, sadly, though. Sadly, we only did half of its health. Don't be poisoned. 
I think that might poison us. Oh man, coughing's tackling our evil Uno. This double battle is continuing, so let's do it again. Horn attack and a wing attack will definitely take coughing down this time, unless, well, it might live. I mean, it, we barely did half. Oh, come on, please, horn attack to death. Horn attack to death. Yeah. Take that, James, your coughing is down. All right, so now all we have is a little, little snake throwing acid at our face. Ah, it burns. Ah, it burns. Not that effective. We're just gonna shrug off the acid like it didn't do anything to us. Let's go ahead. Oh, no, 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 let's go back, let's go back. Fight. Uh, double kick, sure. Maybe, if, I don't, maybe it doesn't even matter who we select, but I'm still selecting coughing even though he's down for the count. I think it's still, it'll just hit Ekans. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's cool. I like when that happens. I don't want to be like, uh, this attack is not a, you know, it's not eligible because the Pokemon has been defeated. More acid in our face, but I believe this is the last turn. We will do horn attack. Jesse and James are still smiling like, I don't know why you guys are smiling, man. Well, you're about to lose. You're about to lose this fight. And you know it. Go ahead, evil Udo. Go, go ahead, Pidgey, with your bad self. Take that Ekans down. Ooh, we leveled up. Go ahead, get all the levels, Nidoran. We need you to be strong and healthy. Nice. Sweet, we beat Team Rocket. <laughs> Look at their faces. They did not expect it. Yes, Nidoran! Mail is evolving. Our first Pokemon evolution, yeah. Oh, this is sweet. No, 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 no. Congrats to Nitto Ran involved into Nitto Reno. Oh my gosh, I love it. We are stronger than ever. A new Pokedex entry, Nitto Reno. What says you? Its horn contains venom. If it stabs an enemy with the horn, the impact makes the poison leak out. That sounds gnarly, and I'm glad this thing is on our side because I don't want any of that happening to me. Jesse and James, looks like Team Rock is blasting off again. Come on, Evie. You have to say something about. Oh, you look completely exasperated. Do you want, do you want to, you want, there you go. There you go. Evie, it's okay. I know, I haven't pet you in a long time. You can just always, just tell me when, is that it? You don't want to be pet anymore? No, you, you're just getting exciting. Excited. Okay, dude, my arm, my hand, there you go. Let's say my hand is running out. Do you want a uh, berry? I'll give you a banana, a pink banana. Have a pink banana. These aren't real fruits. Let's get out of here. And onward. Watch out, Zubat. I need to chase after Team Rocket. They're up to no good. Upward we go. Ah, uh, Route 4. Ooh, to Cerulean City. Sweet. I don't want to jump down there yet. Awesome. Well, we didn't check all the way in Mount Moon. I bet there's more items and things down there. I'll probably definitely go back there, but for now, I need to make it to Cerulean City because I don't want to keep on using potions in case there's more trainers down there. I'm running out. What else do we have? A Paralyzed Heal? Good, I need that. I think someone tried to paralyze us before, if I can remember correctly. I don't know. There's too many battles in Mount Moon. My, my head is spinning. This is these lush green fields. There's no one out here. There's no Pokemon. That's all right. I just need to make it to the next city and heal up. That's all I'm trying to do right now. Got to repel. So if I do want to go back to Mount Moon, I can use repels to make it through there easily. Pro perhaps that is probably what I'm going to do. We got to get this Pokeball up there, though, but it's on a high ledge. What about here? Is this grass area we can go in? Ah, jeez. I, I wanted to go through that grass. I want to get new Pokemons. And downwards. And downwards. Can we go back to Mount Moon by going here? Oh, sweet. Is that an Ekans? Oh, heck yeah. Dude, we gotta get Ekans. We gotta get Ekans. We gotta get the little snake that can. You little snake. Let's go ahead and just toss Pokeballs in. That's all we're gonna do. We don't need to feed you, and I don't think we're gonna need a Great Ball for this. You're just a snake, man. A purple snake. And your, your name is literally Snake Backwards, so... I mean, why do I have to be afraid of you? You're just gonna eat up all my Pokeballs, though. I bet you are. Ah, oh, that was so mistimed. Definitely mistimed there. Come on, we captured. Yes, we captured our first ever Ekans. 
Let's check out your Pokédex entry, man. Ooh, Charmander to level up. Awesome. Just waiting for you to evolve, buddy. With Gusto. Here it is. Here is the Ekans Pokédex entry. The older it gets, the longer it grows. At night, it wraps the long body around tree branches to rest. Good. It takes nap skis. It takes sleep skis. I'm glad Pokémon are getting their full days of rest. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's it. And we don't need any more Pokémon. I see the Spearow flashing. It's probably a huge Spearow, but it's fine. Right now, like I mentioned, I just want to get back. I mean, get into town. Here we are. Cerulean City, a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Nice. We are here. Let's go talk to everyone. You're making some sort of encyclopedia of Pokemon? That sounds like a fun time. We sure are. It's called a Pokedex. What about you, kid? You know the guy who lives in that house there? He's collected bikes from all over the world. Seems like a weird hobby. <laughs> or not, not weird as so much as... That's crazy. How are you shipping those all back home? It just seems eclectic. Home of Bike Maniac. Oh, eclectic. He's a maniac. What do you What do you got, Evie? You just heard something. What, you want us to go to the Pokemon Center, or are you Are you checking out that Oddish over here? You're checking out this Oddish, aren't you? What are you What are you checking out, Pidgey? Some water? You want to throw money in it? Sure, I'll throw 500. I got the money right now. I'm just wasting money on it. You threw 500 in the fountain. Do we get something? We better get something. Well, I guess Eevee loves us. So that's... That's dope. Pidgey? Did you find something for me? Did you find my money back? <laughs> did you, you just look pleased? Ah, oh, dang it. I thought he was going to get our money back for us. What if we had a Pokemon that could... Like, Magikarp. Let's put him out of the Pokeball. Maybe he will swim in the water. Right? Magikarp? Do you want to swim? What are you doing, bro? You're just... Flopping around? Dude, look, there's water. Be excited. Be excited about the water. Whatever. Come on, Magikarp. You're just going to just, just flop around with me. Have you heard the legend about the Fountain of Cerulean? If you throw money into the fountain with your Pokemon, you'll be very close to that Pokemon. Oh, for real? Oh, could I only do it once? Ah, oh, crap. I, I guess, I guess, it, I guess it's only Eevee then. Because I mean, that makes sense. That is the Pokemon we're trying to get close to. Whatevs. We did it. Everyone's fine. Magikarp is now going to be flopping around. It's a funny, it's a funny visual. We had Evil Uno out of the Pokeball up until now. And I guess every single time we get to the next city, I will change Pokemon. Who wants to talk? Okay, we got a bunch of people this time. That Bill, I heard that he'll do anything to get his hands on rare Pokemon, anything at all. That sounds very mischievous. Sounds like he is part of the mob. I don't want to meet this Bill. Do you want to trade your Rattata for mine? Why? Why? Oh, because the, her Rattata will get more experience points. Okay. Mine's cooler. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemon fanatic, but with a collection like his, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to brag of it? I think people are just jealous. This dude, this dude has made a lot of money and a lot of enemies and sees the world through a specific way. Dude, no one's jealous. We're all happy for Bill. Bill has all the Pokemon in the world. Your Eevee looks very promising. I'm pretty sure that Eevee can learn a marvelous move that I've developed. Do you want to teach a marvelous move? Yes. Oh, which one should I use? Bouncy Bubble, Buzzy Buzz, or sizzly slide. Each one of these is a different type. This is definitely a water type, electric type, fire type. Now my gut instinct is to say water because we do not have water moves. But I know I'm going to evolve that freaking Magikarp. The Buzzy Buzz, we have Pikachu. And we do have Charmander. So I pretty much have everything covered right now. <laughs> this is hard. Maybe the fire attack just because we don't want to be limited to just Charmander and there's not too many fire Pokemon. So I'll guess I'll go I'll go for that. Yeah, let's get rid of something. Sand attack, tail whip. Oh. What is it? What is this? 90% accuracy. It can burn. Maybe quick attack out. Definitely, let's get rid of quick attack. Now we know a fire attack. That's sweet. Oh, can we switch at any time? Can I can I learn all of them at once? But only one time each? Okay, well that's pretty sweet. I can make my Eevee like the, the jack of all trades there. That's nice. There are two types of attacking moves. Oh yeah, physical and special. Your Pokemon's attack stack is high, teach it physical. And uh, you know, special attack is high, then teach special moves. Why don't you trade Pokemon with your friends? You can get a lot more variety by trading. Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly too. So yes, that's what I was saying earlier. Magikarp just <laughs> flopping around, so great. That is so great, I just love that. Magikarp just flashes, flashes, flashes. 
Yeah, but if we traded her Rattata for ours, then our our new Rattata, which was hers, would get more experience points. So let's continue on. This is the gym. Storyline City Pokemon Gym. Leader Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. So she's definitely going to be using water Pokemon. You're a trainer too, collecting Pokemon, battling with them. It's a tough life, isn't it? Yeah, you would, you're would. you telling me. I run out of money. My Pokemon almost faint. Everyone just wants to attack me. You give eye contact and they're like, hey, let's battle. It's a tough life for a kid out here. Clefairy, Clefairy, Clefairy. What's up, man? Can we read your book? No, we can't. What's up, Camper? What are you looking at? Oh, my dearest Clefairy's head. I was messing with its fur and it got really fluffy and cool, but it got back to normal when I kept messing with it. That is just a waste of a conversation. <laughs> I don't need to know how much Yuko Fairy likes to be pet, I guess. Electrode is taking a snooze. You Swift. No, no, not that move. Oh, Pokemon are so hard to control. They say it's up to your skill as a trainer whether your Pokemon listen to you or not. I would say so. Can't read the sign from the back. Dang it. Hello, Pokemart. What say you, woman? Have you seen a rare candy? I've never found one at a shop. I heard that it makes a Pokemon level up instantly. I would love an infinite amount of those if you can find some. Once you defeat a gym leader and get a new badge, you should visit the local shop. It should have new items you can buy. It's a sign that you become a stronger trainer. Definitely, most definitely. But for right now, I haven't beat the trainer here, the gym leader. I do need, I need some potions, okay? I've used a lot. Let's use this take 11. It's gonna take, oh my gosh. Gonna take a fourth of our total savings. We have to have an awakening, maybe four of them this time, just because we did use one to wake up. I think Evans before one of our Pokemon. Maybe hmm. I don't think we have to worry about burn or ice right now. An escape rope would be cool. We did. I think we bought one or found one. What Evans? Let's go up here and do we need any more? No, we don't need any Pokeballs. We do need a couple of Great Balls though. Let's get four. Oh, crap. We're now back down to 4,000 monies. I mean, I can sell that big pearl, though, right? No, I want to sell. Oh, I'm stuck in I'm stuck in menu limbo. Okay, let's go slow here. Let's sell the big pearl for 5,000? 4,000. Nice. Please be sold. Sweet. We're back up to 8,000. I don't think we have super potions yet. Hopefully after beating Misty. Speaking of which, we will fight her in a second. Now that we're healed... And we have our items. We are pretty much halfway done with this city, I think. You have to check out this bike maniac. I like riding on Pokemon, but riding on a bike is pretty cool too. I, I say so, I say so. My bike collection is impressive, isn't it? I won't let you ride with one or buy one, but feel free to have a look. Really, I need one. I need one. Please? Are you curious about the acro bikes? Yeah, what are they about? It's by far the wildest bike and very different from other ones. That is the acro bike. It allows you to perform what? Where are you going? It's called Acrobite. Why is it going so fast? If you have value value techniques more than anything, you went too fast, dude. I don't know what was going on there. It's a shiny, very fast looking one. Are you curious about the mock bikes? Yeah. As his name suggests, a mock bike is super fast. The frame, if you put on a car no, he's just a maniac. He's going on. That's his shtick. I'm not even gonna pay attention to you, dude. What about this one? What is that one? Yes, yeah, sure. Blabble on about it. A limited edition? Yep, there you go. One million. Yeah, I ain't got that. How am I gonna have a million, have million Poké Dollars? It makes no sense to me. I'm the first person who listened to all my nerdy talk. You must be a nerd too. As a token of my new friendship, please take this. We got five heart scales. Don't know what they're gonna be good for, but thank you, dog. I like that. See, all you have to do is listen to people, and I wasn't really listening to them. <laughs> a pretty heart-shaped scale that's extremely rare. Some people are happy to receive one. Oh, I'm glad we have those now. I'm glad I listened thoroughly. <laughs> it was cool getting to see all his rare bikes, but boy, that bike mani maniac goes on and on and on. Ah, you have to listen. You have to listen to him. I mean, if you want heart skills that you don't know what to do with, you gotta listen to the boy. Can we talk to this, this person? Tree growing in front of Pokemart is blocking the way to the route to the south. Well, well, well. I think we are going... No, we went there, right? I can't remember which houses we went in anymore. Well, uh, I'm going to say we went in here already. Let's just keep on going up north here. Finish this side of the town. And then we can go and fight Misty. Hello, dude. Only skilled trainers can collect gem badges. I see you have at least one. May I tell you something interesting about... Oh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Which of the eight badges did I describe? Never mind. <laughs> I don't... I don't... 
I don't care enough to know everything. I will, I will learn about these badges as I collect them. Thank you very much, sir. I mean, that's half of the joy. Figuring things out as we go. Let's grab this. A rare candy. Hey, the person just told us about this. I am not going to use that yet. I just, I'm just going to keep it. Just in case I never specifically need to use one level up. I will have that. Oh, that was very awesome there. Finding that rare candy in the backyard. Let's go check out. Holy crap. I was like, let's check out this room. This is an onyx. I can't even see all you, boy. Can we see its head if we go? No. Crazy. Are you going to talk to me about your big old boy over there? I was stopped when I tried to enter a Pokemon with my dear Onyxy. That was utterly unnecessary. My Onyxy is such a good boy that it goes into his Pokeball in a tight space even without being asked. But she's just mad and complaining, but she's very seems like jovial about it. Hey, Officer Jenny, right? What a shame. The people here were robbed. Someone even saw the thieves escape, and I saw it was none other than Team Rocket. To protect the poor owners of this house from further harm, I won't be letting anyone in. Not even a little Rattata will sneak past me. Wow, she has a good eye. She's not going to let any little rodents in. Good for her, though. I mean, who would want rodents inside of a home? Well, with all that said, let's hop down here. Check out if we can fight Misty yet. Hello, hello. I'm here to do battle. There's some people in attendance. Misty's there looking freaking freaking fierce. Champ in the making. Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean City Gym, is a powerful trainer. You need a Pokemon at least level 15 if you want to challenge her gym. Show me a Pokemon at least level 15 and you can go, go, go. So our top three are all level 15. I mean, I should say above 15. And we have a Pikachu that's level 12 that we're, I thought we we're going to bank on that. Okay, sure. Impressive. You have at least one. In that case, go on, head on, go on, head on. Well, we have a couple other trainers we're going to have to fight. They're going to jump down, probably. So I want to get Pikachu out in the, out first. Let's move you. Sweet. And hopefully Pikachu will go up levels fighting these trainers. Hello, swimsuit maiden. Good to see you. Appearing in a glamorous fla flash, my Pokemon will totally stop you. Wow, she's uh, very cocky, very confident that she's going to take down my Pikachu. Hello, Beauty Lily. Aw, oh, you're so high on yourself. Don't be high on my Pikachu when I uh, Thundershock your Goldeen. Again, our first time seeing Goldeen, though. So that's nice. Come on, Pikachu. We got some shocking duties to do. You are a little bit weaker, but you do have an element they're opposed to. Okay, 50% of health. I don't think we're going to do it in one hit. We're not going to be a one-hit wonder here. That sucks. It's paralyzed, though. So I'm going to say that I can do... Oh, what is this? Why does Eevee want me to shake? Eevee, Evan's support. What are we doing here? I've never seen this before. This is the first time. What's happening? Pikachu's attack rose. Defense rose. Special attack rose. Special defense. Speed rose. Hold it! It takes up one of our attacks, but if I ever see that little icon, Evan's Eevee just supported us. That's so freaking cool. All right, we're, we're like super Pikachu now, so we're gonna we're gonna do it to it. Oh, for, for sure. It's paralyzed too. Okay, we have this match entirely in our favor. We're going to win this, and hopefully Pikachu levels up. But we need Pikachu to be stronger as we go th through these swimming beauties in Misty's gym. Goldeen fainted. Eevee supported us. Pikachu went in for the win, for the kill. Awesome, level 13. Don't you know it. Don't you know it. Nice. A little bit more special attacks. Gonna do us justice, do us some extra damage as we continue on. Thanks for the money. Thanks for the battle. I appreciate it. Well, now what do you say? Are you still as cocky as you were? I used up all my energy with a fantastic diet. You sure did. You sure freaking did. See, I can go and walk out and heal up my Pikachu, but in, in the interest of saving time, and I'm 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 on a, what is it called? A high point right now. I'm feeling good right now. I think we can do this. Just use one potion anyway. I mean, they don't cost too much. Hmm, me? I'm a beautiful girl who glides on the water. Everyone just loves themselves here. Hey, I, I got, I, I, I'm also all for that. Love yourself, but don't throw it in my face. I'm challenged by Beauty Violet. Shelter, nice. I love seeing a variety of pokies. It has a shell, but I don't think that's gonna protect it from my chunky little Pikachu's nice attacks here. Thundershock. How is Shelter faster than my Pikachu? Oof, that was some damage right there. I don't wanna be frozen. Haha, -ha, be paralyzed, please, please. Ah. Anyway, Shelter's toast. <laughs> toast bread. Don't freeze me. I swear if you freeze me. 
Man, I'm gonna need an ice heal. I I forgot that shelter existed. <laughs> and and was it Dugong? All those ones. Nice Magikarp going up a level. I'm soaked. You sure are. We beat you. Well, let's use one more potion. Fight this last trainer, and then I guess maybe we'll head back to the Poke Center, depending upon how our team looks <laughs> after this last battle. Come on. Are we going to fight you? Swim down here. Yes, you. Yes, you. <gasps> I give that a 10 out of 10. That was a great dive. Do you see that dive just now? Yes, I did, and I was giving you kudos. Don't you think it's deserving a gold medal? Yeah, I said 10 out of 10. I don't think she listens. I was like, I'm giving you a high score, lady. <laughs> Beauty Daisy. I love how they all have the same poses. Seal, yes, yeah, Seal and Dugong. Yes, you have Ice Attack. I have to worry about that. A Pikachu has been clutch, has been our ace in this gym. Let's Thunder Shock. Let's do the dang thing. Aqua Jet. Ooh, ah, ah. Ouch, I'm a gouch there. Paralyze, please, please, please. We need something. Please, we just got hit hard. All right, well, we have to take our Pikachu out. A little bit too weeksies there. Let's go for a Nidorino. Toss this bad boy in. I hope Pika, I hope Poison, I mean, I'm gonna say Pikachu, I hope Poison is not weak against ice attacks. But well, we're gonna find out. Aqua Jet shouldn't do too much. I'm higher level now. Nice. Good. Goodness gracious. We can focus our energy and then Horn Attack to try to get a critical hit with our strongest attack, which I think that's gonna be the play. A, a headbutt? Haha. <laughs> hit me with your head all you want. I can, I can take it. I'm a, I'm a thick boy too. Nidorino is thick. Water me all you want. I'm thirsty. I will drink that attack. Horn attack goes in, and it's a critical hit. We got it down, but sadly, we're not faster than this buddy. This buddy over here is way faster than us. Nidorino, come on. Get it, get it. Your seal is down. Thank you, seal, for coming. I will seal you later. <laughs> I'm sealing your fate. That would have been better. I'll see you later. Whatever. My jokes are great. Evil Uno wants to learn Roost. Should we forget something? Maybe. Maybe. Roost heals us, right? The user lands and rests body. The move restores the user's HP by up to half of its max. That could be some kind of move to just keep us in play for a while. I like the idea of mirror move. I like the idea of wing attack, sand attack. Ugh, but that means it, uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm at a place right now because I like to have more than one physical attack. Our mirror move, have we used it? We only used it once for payday. Like I see us using that more later on. Man, HP restore though. Huh. I don't know. I guess I'll get rid of quick attack. I'll just lean on wing attack for a while and our boy evil Uno We'll just kind of use mirror move. I don't know. <laughs> Your Pokemon totally deserves a gold medal. Good thing is, once I get more moves with Evil Uno, I can switch things up a bit. We'll worry about that in the future. Right now, we are going to go up against Misty. And so, let's go heal our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center first. I'm just worried about Misty's levels. Like, we barely got through with Pikachu. Nidoran, or Nidorino, I should say. I've got to get used that it evolved really did come in handy right there. Charmander's not going to be handy. Magikarp either. Eevee could be. I mean, I could teach Eevee the electric attack, but then I feel like I'm using too many of this dude's uh, this dude's stuff. <laughs> he can teach us three moves. I don't want to have Eevee having all of this guy's moves. We'll worry about that later. We have options, okay? Options for Eevee, options for Evil Uno. I am thinking about leading with Pikachu and then following up with Nidorino. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it for sure. All right, Misty, here we are. Here we are, Misty. We're ready. You look freaking cool. You're like you're just from, the, you're straight from the television show. I love it. Oh, Misty says, hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all out offensive with water type Pokemon. Misty, the world famous beauty is your host. My sweet Pokemon are ready. Are you? Nice pose, nice kicks. Nice shorts. I mean, there's so many awesome shorts around here, but you have good shorts. But if you want to know what my approach on Pokemon are, Gym Leader Misty, is to have a well-rounded suite. Not just one type that just gets blasted by one element. So your Psyduck is going to get confused by my electric attacks, I assure you. 
Let's go ahead and hit it with a Thunder Shock. It's level 18, though, so I don't think it's going to deal too much. Oh, it actually is, so that's really good. Super effective. Water Gun, though, just because of the level difference. I think we can do this. If we can paralyze Psyduck or get a critical hit here, I mean, that can change the battle. Paralyze, paralyze, please. Ah, oh, crap, a Water Gun attack. Well, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to Thunder Shock and hope for a kill here. <laughs> Misty only has two Pokemon. We can switch out to Nidorino if we have to. Or even say with Pikachu and heal. No, no, I'm going to go with Nidorino. I, I, I don't want to give Starmie... Oh, I forgot. Crap. I don't want to give her Pokemon an opportunity to land a free blow on me. So I'm going to pick Nidorino. That is our strongest. That is our guy for this entire adventure so far. I am so glad I kept Nidorino in the party. Come on, dude. It's all up to you. She has an epic evolved star you. That's level freaking 19. We're going to have to go for the focus energy. We're going to have to hope for that critical tick that attack. Sidewave, don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. I think Sidewave confuses. All right, here we go. Our money is 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 all on this attack. So I'm going to go for horn attack. Come on. Scald. Holy moly. Roly poly. Dang it. This is not good. This is not good. I did not expect that to deal that much damage. Do we have... Holy... We don't have a super potion. I don't even know if this is worth it. This might just be a waste. Is this just a waste? Because this is 20 HP. Oh, crap. Skull's gonna put us down. Oh, no, 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 no. Nidorino's gone. That's my strongest right there. That was my ace in the hole. This sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. Okay, Evil Uno... It's up to you now. It is freaking up to you. All right. All right. What do we have? Wing attack. That's going to have to be it. I mean, I mean, I could sand attack. Now, let me sand attack. Because this might go... Oh, it's faster than me. How is that star me fast? It's a one... It's a nearly a one hit kill. It just loves me so much that it freaking stayed alive. That's freaking awesome. We, that was a one hit kill. That was a one punch, man. <laughs> okay. So... Roosting's not even gonna matter. I'm gonna sand attack. Because that's my only my only hope right now. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm down. I think we might have to level up. Our first att uh, attempt at Misty is not going so well. I mean, I could revive, but I don't think that's going, even going to help. Starmie is just too too powerful at level 19 for us to contend with. And I should have I really should have used <laughs> learned the electric move here. I'm just gonna keep on sand attacking. Haha, -ha, sucker. I could revive my other Pokemon and start healing them. Well, we'll see. Let's go ahead and attack with the double kick. Scalds, do not do too much. Please keep me alive. Good, 50% health. And I'm freaking burned. What? How is all this not going my way? I know you're psychic. I just was hoping for something here. Ah, oh, not, lo not looking good. All I really have is. I'm really thinking about the play here. Hand attack. I mean, that's my only thing here. Swift. Yeah, I should be alive here. I have to deal with the burn and the healing. So I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put in some work in right here. I definitely am. I'm glad we got some potions before this. I'm not giving up. I don't give up. But we have a lot of work ahead of us. We're gonna have to hope for the missed accuracy. I don't even know if we have a burn heal. Man. Dang. I think I... Oof, I... Ah, Prue. Burn almost got us. Prue bro from. Ooh. <laughs> this is intense. Uh, I am I am not in a favorable position at all. I am, I'm hoping for the lowered accuracy on Starmie to do us wonders. This Swift shouldn't kill us. Cool, but we just have to keep on... We have to keep on using potions. I mean, we're going to run out of potions, and, and this is going to suck. Well, let's heal Eevee, and let's hope that we can... We're just going to hope, again, hoping for the accuracy accuracy down on Starmie. I mean, I'm I'm kind of not prepared for this. Did not expect to be burned by a water type Pokemon. This is this is crap. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just stalling. I'm gonna sand attack. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not going to use all my potions here. Oh, wow. Thank you for loving me so much. But you're going to get down by the freaking burn. Oh, I should have never taken Spraticus out. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Eevee, you did really well. This entire team did well. I, I, I really have to put Charmander out. Oh, here we go. Here goes nothing. We'll throw Charmander out. I'll use a revive because Charmander's doing diddly squat to nobody. Can't believe we're actually using our first revive on Misty. In Misty's gym, I should say. Maybe, heck, who knows? Maybe Starby will miss. <laughs> oh, Starby didn't miss. Nice. Take that. Huh? Take that. Because Charmander is a freaking pro. Huh? Huh? Let's use a potion on Nidorino. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Charmander is definitely a decoy Pokemon here. No, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I want to use something else. Am I going to revive? Oh, let's heal Pikachu. Maybe we'll get one hit with Pikachu. That's a possibility. Never know. Like I said, you don't give up until the the match is over. Oh, we're, we're having ample time to heal up. To be the, the Pokemon Master that we want to be. Oh, this is cool. Tides of battle are the changing. Haha, -ha, sucker. What are these other moves do? Smokescreen. Lowers target's accuracy. Should we just go for it? Be brave? No. <laughs> I was going to lower his accuracy more. But I might as well do another revive on Evil Uno here. Or... Evans. Let's do Evans. Evans has more HP total. 52. We're going to need our team back. Well, that's it. <laughs> Charmander, I salute you. You are definitely going to be... Oh, you're still alive? You survived it. Dude, you survived it. Oh my gosh. Charmander's love for us. Charmander's love for us is keeping us going. <laughs> Thank you, Charmander. You are making... You are the MVP of this team. And we avoided it. This is so freaking cool. I am... Man, I was... I thought we were going to lose here. Okay. Okay, Charmander. Let's heal you up a little bit. And then maybe use a smoke screen if you can dodge this next move. We want to keep on lowering Starmie's freaking accuracy here. You're avoiding the attack. You're doing well. Okay, smoke screen. Please go first. Please go first. Of course we're not. Please stay alive. Now I'm saying please for everything. Oh, Charmander. Thank you, my Charmander. My Charmander. Oh, so we have some more plays right now. Let's throw Pikachu out. We might be able to get one Thundershock. If we can paralyze Starmie with this Thundershock, we will be on the right side of history. We'll be on the right side of victory. I want to go for the double team. Well, it doesn't matter because it's faster than me. Crap. Well, I was thinking double team would uh, increase, increase our evasiveness. Invasiveness, if I could ever say that word. But it did not. But now we have an opportunity with Nidorino to do a horn attack and just go for it. Let's horn attack. I'm not going to try to focus anything. Can you miss? I mean, your accuracy is down, bro. But how are you still hitting me? I want to horn attack you one more time. Well, I've got to heal with my potions after this. Oh, gosh. It's a critical attack, too. I am going to hope you're going to miss. I really am going to hope you're going to miss. Because this is, this is no good, uh, not good, uh, throwing potions out in the air, slam duck on top of my Ninorino's head. Miss, please? Oh, please don't be critical, though. Okay, we're back doing this again, right? Potion up. Potion up, potion down, potion all around. Music on Ninorino. I really want to see if I can beat this. Like, its strategy is freaking key. We're going to, going to go up to 28 HP. Please miss, please miss. You hit every freaking time. So at this point, it doesn't make sense to even attack yet because I'd be wasting all these potions. I only have seven left. So this is not a good... Uh... Come on. Please, 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 please don't hit me. Ah. Because at this point, I will have to attack and then get hitting. Whatever. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Might as well. And you're going to scald me. Seriously. Seriously. This is it. And it, <laughs> it does not look good. I only have Evans. I could sacrifice Magikarp. I don't know. This might be the end of the road here. 
I'm feeling a little sad, a little dour here. We don't really have a lot going on. I mean, Sizzly Slide, does that burn? Oh, I was trying to check it out. Swift shouldn't kill us. I really just want to burn you. Burn, burn, burn. And you're burned. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Should we just go for it again, or should we heal? I'm gonna heal, because I'm not I'm not going to be too, uh, what's it called? I'm not gonna jump. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I am not going to force myself way through this. I'm gonna do my strategy to the very end. Just miss the attack and be burned. Nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. It's about strategy, it's about patience. I'm gonna sizzly slide it one more time. Sizzly slide, please, please, come on, come on. Nice, we did it. Come on, please, end this. Burn it, burn it to death, burn it to death. Oh my gosh, how are you still alive? Oh, I wish I had a quick attack right now. Okay, it, can no, it, it can't do 47 points of damage. That's how much health we have right now, right? Come on, three, two, one, final attack of the battle. Sizzly slide for the win. Misty's going down. Do, do not do critical tick that you can just kill me. Oh my gosh, awesome. I guess it doesn't matter anyway. We always had magic harp in the wings and then it would be burned to death that we did it. We freaking came out. Use a lot of potions, use a lot of revive. But this is what I'm talking about. In Pokemon battles, do not give up. Keep on going. Use what you got. Keep attacks like, you know, that lowers accuracy, like sand attack or smoke screen. Because this was freaking cool. One of my favorite move, uh, battles in a long time. Misty put it in. And definitely, we need to have a different attack for you. I was going to use Tail Whip in that battle, but I never got the opportunity. So Tail Whip gone, because Bite is just so freaking awesome. They can make people or Pokemon flinch. I love this move. Definitely a go-to move for any Pokemon. Sadly, the rest of our team died. <laughs> we have to level them up for sure. Misty says, all right, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Eevee's like, yeah, sure, let's take it. High tail five. Yes, a Cascade badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers listen to you. And you can also have my favorite TM. I'm guessing it's, yeah, it's Scald. Awesome. I will teach Magikarp that. TM29 teaches Pokemon the move Scald. Use it on a Poke that lives in the water. I will. I have Magikarp. Anything else that you want to say to me before I talk to my Eevee there who's in the bottom left corner being like, Hey, talk to me, buddy. Oh, I'm, I'm running high off that. I am, I'm also, my energy is low too of you. That was a crazy battle. Evan looks exhausted. All right. Well, don't worry about that, Evans. We will go to a Pokemon Center to heal you up. You can have a little rescues. Before that, let's check out the TM case. Let's see if Magikarp can learn Scald, and it looks like it can, right? Oh, cannot learn. Dang it! Magikarp can't learn nothing, you wasted, you useless Pokemon. Nothing can use learn Scald. What about Headbutt? Pretty much everyone but Magikarp. Magikarp is a loser. This may also make the target flinch. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> that's better than Bite, I think. Maybe we'll we'll teach Headbutt to. Charmander. I haven't even used him yet, so I don't know what his movesets are, but let's go and check it out. Probably has Tackle or Scratch, yeah. Scratch is a just one of the lowest tier moves that you, in, exi in existence. So I might as well upgrade to Headbutt. Nice. Okay, we really do have to go to the Pokemon Center, because we're all, we all got knocked out. Let's talk to this dude up front, the little coach or referee. You beat Misty. Great job. The splashes of your battle came all the way over here. I am so glad that we splashed that dude, that referee. Who are you? Did we talk to you before? Your trainer? Okay, whatever. That's a guy talking about a tough life. We do have a tough life. And here we are, back at the Pokemon Center. Man, I told you, we never give up, right? That Misty battle was proof of that. That bugs me. See that? I have one Great Ball. I should have caught everything with a Pokeball. I really should have. Whatever. But that Misty battle was just insane really was. I am so happy about what we accomplished. Getting our second gym badge. We should definitely check out the Poke Mart. We're going to have to go up north. Magikarp spots something, so hold on. Let's go talk to him. What do you spot, man? Okay, you you like flowers. Hey, we learn something new every day. Magikarp like flowers. What was I saying before you interrupted me with Magikarp? Oh, yes. We're going to have to check out up north. Well, I guess we're checking out the bridge right now. Bronk says, Hey, oh, well, you gotta, you're not gonna believe this. Pokemon. Idiot. Gah. What? Tell me. Oh my gosh, dude. 
Oh my, I thought he was actually going to talk to me this time. Instead, he's, he's going to fight me like it always does. He's a trickster. I should always think that he's about to fight me. He has three Pokemon. I, I don't know how strong they are. I wasn't ready for this. I was not prepared for this jelly of his. I know you can do it, Pikachu. Well, we have the right type advantage right here. Oh, definitely. We're still one level higher at level 13. It's level 12. A Thundershock should definitely destroy it. Come on, go down. Be destroyed. How does your Pidgey, hmm, how does your Pidgey survive that, hmm? I don't know. I really don't know. I, I did not expect this battle right now. Checking out that bridge. Go away, Franck. Okay. I was trying to assess my next course of action. And you're just like, yo, let's fight. Let's put up your dukes, you told me. Oddish? Sure. We can go for... Let's go for Charmander. I mean, our Eevee, Evans, does have that fire attack that helped us win against Misty. Which, I, again, by the way, using a fire attack to kill a water Pokemon is just so awesome. Hello, Oddish. I have a little flame magic for you. Here you go. Watch. Watch this closely. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. There you go. <laughs> right in your face. <laughs> and you're burned. And you're burned. Am I poisoned, though? I'm a big talker, but I'm going to get blasted back. Yep. Poison versus burn. In this epic battle, who's going to win? I don't know. I don't know. I think I do know. I think it's going to be me. It's really cool seeing Frank using a variety of Pokemon that aren't just like starters, like the Bulbasaur. I say that as I'm using Charmander, but hey, I do like a variety. But sadly, your Oddish is up no, no fight for me. Who do you have left? I forget. Oh yeah, Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, duh. Uh, I guess there's only one way to solve the to finish this. I'm about to say to solve this problem, a Pikachu. But to solve this battle, this matchup, it has to be the two title Pokies, Eevee, Pikachu, Frank. Wally on the bridge, Cerulean City. Let's go ahead and uh, bite you. I, this is my new move. How do you like it, Pikachu? Big old teeth. Did you flinch? Ha ha. And that's why I like bite. You see why I like bite, right? Because I just flinched this fool, got two attacks, did not even have to worry about it. Sorry, Pikachu. I love you. I have one on my team. I, n I have the Pikachu love. So rest in peace, Frank. I'm a bit calmer now? Okay. Well, tell me what you wanted to say. Were you trying to tell me something, or what was going on? Deep breaths. Let me try that again. Breathe in and breathe out, Frank. I'm right here. I'll listen to you. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when you hear this, that Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. East, just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Wally. What in the heck? A talking Pokemon across the bridge. The fanatic Bill. Eevee wants to talk into the bottom left corner. What does my guy gotta say? Are you okay, Eevee? Are, tell me. Yes, you. Proud and is giving a content smile. Okay, good. You're content. Everything's great. Frank is tripping. I can't wait to see what we find across this bridge. What's going on with the talking Pokemon? What's up with Bill? We gotta go ahead and do this. 